An hour before dawn at Akeley Heads Police Headquarters in Durham and 250 officers gather for a major raid. Their target, several villages in the north of the county which have been plagued by drug dealers. But now, thanks to an investigation lasting nearly a year, are about to get some respite. Secure with them, handcuff them and bring them straight downstairs. We'll search them when we'll get them downstairs. Working with colleagues in Northumbria and Cleveland, Durham officers make 19 arrests, put dealers behind bars and clear up scores of burglaries linked to heroin and crack cocaine. What we hope to have sent out today to the people of Grange Villa and the surrounding villages and the towns in North Durham is that please talk to us, we do listen. Obviously at times we can't share what we have but we will continue to listen to you and deal with the problems that you suffer. Such operations underline the record of Durham Police in arresting serious criminals, a detection rate envied by many other forces across the country. Yet, ironically, the fear of crime in County Durham and Darlington remains unacceptably high, and that is why the force has embarked on the Street Safe campaign to improve community as well as criminal policing. What we, we can't really explain away is why people do seem to have such a high fear of crime in what is basically a very safe place in which to live. So we've done some research and, and really it's about some of the quality issues that perhaps we don't do as well as we, we possibly could. What I'm saying here is that we're not trying to reinvent any wheels, we're just trying to do the basics better. And what some of the research has shown is that uh, we don't pro probably give enough feedback to, to victims of crime, we don't deal with them swiftly enough or politely enough. And, and some of the environmental factors that, that really do seem to prey on people's minds raise their fear of crime. For five years, this underpass at Newton Acliffe has been a nightmare for local residents. Arnold Petch and his neighbours have been kept awake by rowdy teenagers drinking and taking drugs. This is um, a type of a bomb type thing that is a smoking pipe that they use, but I didn't know that. But there's always bottles where um, they're um, drinking through the bottle and then when they finish with the bottle they put like, cocaine in it and warm it up and suck through it and smoke through it. And what you do get is hollering and shouting. And from two till four in the morning we could be hell on again. Now we've lived in this house over 30 years and those particular cases over the last five years has been every Friday night and every Saturday night for the last five years. But across the force area, the Street Safe campaign is bringing new hope to people like Mr. Patch, 